Hello my professional colleagues, you all are welcome to another wonderful time on Nurses Zone. This is Sunam TV and I am Nurse Charles. Today we'll be discussing a very interesting topic which is nurses versus the doctors. Long time this has really been an issue in patient care as there is always overlapping responsibilities and it's a problem because this always speaks sparks of issues um, between the nurses and the doctors sometimes they become so loud enough that they even make headlines we're here to discuss the different responsibilities of that of the doctors and that of the nurses and we also discuss places that we experience some overlapping in the course of care of a patient so first of all who is a nurse a nurse is someone who is entrusted with the care of a patient this talks about the general care of a patient which include medications the rest of them there are lots of responsibilities that a nurse is supposed to carry out on a patient then who are doctors doctors are people who are trained to um, diagnose treat and manage disease conditions they they plan treatment regime and they monitor patients well-being all true now we'll be talking about the different responsibilities of that of the nurses we'll be starting with the first one of the responsibilities of nurses is to gather information about the patient this include history taking medical histories of the individual the allergies the surgeries the patient must have undergone previously the um, family background beliefs and the rest of them these informations will help other health professionals to know or know how best to take care of this patient nurses have the responsibility to also give medications and treatments to patients i think this is where there is an overlapping when it comes to um, patient care we're always having issue with this making decisions on the type of treatment regime that should be followed up with a patient well registered nurses their major responsibility is to follow the course of um, treatment which is being prescribed by the physician except for nursing practitioners these are people who can prescribe they can diagnose and treat disease conditions apart from that nurses are supposed to follow the physician's order when it comes to treatment regimen another important responsibility of a nurse is to serve as a middleman they serve as a middleman in the sense that they um, serve as a link to all other all other medical professionals that are involved in the care of the patient which include the medical doctors the lab technicians the dentitians and the rest of them the nurse gives them the needed information they need the information they need about the patient and know how best to carry out their duties on the patient nurses also perform diagnostic tests these diagnostic tests include vital signs these vital signs they are an overall general overview of the systems in the body we also have um, they also help to collect blood samples for the laboratory investigations they collect sputum they collect um, tissue which are being required by the lab to carry out most of their investigations another important responsibility of the nurse is to monitor the patient's health we all know that the nurses spend more time than any other medical professional with the with the per clients or the, with the patient we all know that for sure so they are the ones that monitor they monitor the patient's health by assessing this patient they constantly take the patient's vital signs they monitor the patient's outlook physical appearance and the rest of them and this information really helps the doctors to know if the course of regimen or course of treatment is really going in the right direction Apart from the medical treatment, um, the nurses also play a very huge role when it comes to psychological support. Yes, they, they try to encourage the patient, including the relatives, give them words of encouragement, 
be there for them, give them support, give them advice, the best medical course to follow and the rest of them. So apart from just the medical aspect of it, the nurses also play a huge role when it comes to psychological support. They give the patients care and support that they need. The nurses also have the burden of um, educating the patients about the disease condition and how best to manage it. We all know that most patients fear the doctors and they feel at home with the nurses. So they might not be open enough to communicate or flow well with most of the doctors. But when they speak with the nurses, you tend to see that they are more free and they easily express themselves. So the nurses have that huge responsibility to convey the necessary information the patient, the patient needs to know. These include the laboratory investigations that need to be carried out. It's the responsibility of the nurse to inform the doctor, um, inform the patient, and let the patient know the reasons why most of these things are necessary and why they should be done. The nurses have another huge responsibility of bedside care of a patient. This bedside care ranges from different types of um, care which the nurse can render to this patient. One includes um, serving of bedpan, you can also catheterize patients, you can um, bed bath patients, bed making, um, feeding of patients. These are all bedside care which the nurses have that responsibility to carry out on a patient. The nurses also have a huge res responsibility of taking inventory. Yes, taking inventory of all the equipment, all the materials, all the usable and disposable materials which are being used in the hospital. These include the gloves, the, the masks, the detergents, which these are lots of things that the nurses have the huge responsibility to take inventory of. They have to um, report when there is a shortage in supply of any of them. So it's one of their responsibility to do that. Nurses also have the huge responsibility of managing symptoms. They identify these symptoms and they manage it. I think that's another place we have um, overlapping of uh, function or responsibility with that of the doctors. Yes, you as a nurse, you should know the nursing diagnosis. The doctors also have their own diagnosis, which is medical diagnosis. Now, a nurse have the ability to identify most of these nursing diagnoses, and it's the sole responsibility of the nurse to take care of these um, symptoms. You don't have to report to the doctor. You as a student nurse, you can only report to your head nurse. As a student nurse, you are. But if you're a registered nurse, you take care of them. I've seen situations where um, people who diagnose some, some symptoms and they have to wait till the doctor comes before they take action. That is not proper. You as a nurse, you should know your nursing diagnosis and once you identify them, you are the one who is responsible to take care of them. You can't expect um, me as a nurse to report to a doctor that my patient is having hypertemia. It's, it's not supposed to be like that. Once you, um, once you identify most of these symptoms, you have to find a way to take care of them as a nurse you are. So you have to know your nursing diagnosis and know that it's your full responsibility to take care of them. As nursing keeps advancing, it becomes a problem as there are lots of things that are on the tables of the nurses to do. Things have really changed with time. Nurses are being exposed to so many things. They read and read a lot more like the doctors and they know too much. And it's a problem because they will keep overriding each other when it comes to responsibilities. So when you know yourself and know what you're supposed to do as a nurse, I don't think there is any need for you to really have an issue or have um, a little glitch with a doctor who you're working with. Instead of you seeing them as rivals or the doctor seeing the nurses as rivals, I think it's better we see ourselves as a healthcare team 
who works together to achieve the same goal of getting the patient healthy again. So thank you all for the time. Thank you all for being here with us. If you find this interesting, do well to like, share and comment. And also do well to follow us on our pages on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. Thank you all for being